Hello and welcome to another episode of Chatting with the Voices in My Head. I'm Blaine Shields and I am the host of this broadcast. And I want to welcome each of you to my little pod. Please take off your shoes on the door and don't put your feet on the table. If 2020 was a competitive sport, it would be the duct tape rip and scream shaving challenge. And the highlight of the sporting event would be pouring alcohol on the shaved areas while being sprayed with mace in the eyes, nose, and mouth. Personally, I hope it doesn't become a challenge for next year to step up and say, Oh man, hold my beer. Yeah, I can move this challenge up a bit. It's like jumping off the roof of the house, landing split-legged over the fence, and thinking, you know, I should wait and try this again next year when we replace this wooden fence with a wrought iron one. No, just no thank you. A lot of people are praying for next year to be a better year, with January 1st, 2021, seeing the end of the coronavirus and political unrest and quarantines and Illinois taxes. Me, I'm not holding out my breath on all of that. But what I am praying for is that we as people begin to be better towards each other. And before anyone points their fingers at anyone else and says, yeah, th yeah, those people over there, they need to be better whoever those people may be, we need to all point our fingers at ourselves, respectively, and say, I need to be better. You see, holding off for everyone else to be better is a great thing in theory, but we truly have no hold over how other people act or speak or respond. But we do hold complete sway over our own actions, reactions, statements, and so forth. We can set the example for the world to follow, but it all starts with you and me. So while others are waiting expectantly for the birth of the new year, like the turning over a new calendar holds any sway over a virus, politics, economics, happiness, I could go on and on. Look, if every fulfilled New Year's resolution was put into a lineup to meet and greet one another, they would both be like, oh wow, I'm amazed you made this cut. New Year's is a day in which we fulfill the 365.256 day orbit around the sun, and in which we begin the next 365.256 day orbit. It's not a magical day in which everything from the previous year gets a whistle from the ref of life and is told, eh, game over, new game starts. But we do have an opportunity each and every day and each and every moment of those days to decide who we're going to be and whether we are going to take the high road or the low road. I implore each of you, just as I call myself to do, that we take the better road. The one that uplifts one another, encourages one another, helps one another, loves one another, even when we disagree with one another. As a wise man once said, I love you, you moron. Remember, you're loved. God bless.